And yet again, another episode of Jeeping with Cool Guy. Let's tear apart some stuff. On today's episode of Jeeping with Cool Guy, we're going to take off the T-153 speed. This is a medium slash heavy duty th uh, transmission that was offered on a thick fair amount of the CJ-5s, but it was only available till 1980, along with the Dana 20. And then in 81, they switched over to the T4s, which is a 4-speed, and the T5, which is a 5-speed. Both of those are light-duty transmissions. And the Dana 300, which I, from what I have heard, is a better trans transfer case. But I don't really know how much better. Anyways, that was already taken off. Check out that video for it, because there's some definite things to learn in there about where the bolts are. But let's take off the T150. Um, where we need to start is uh, removing the three bolts from the actual uh, transmission mount that connects to the cross member slash skid plate. As you can tell, this is a greasy, oily mess. Um, when I took off the Dana 20, uh, a lot of the transmission fluid drained out of this, back, this bottom back hole. Um, and it has been slowly dripping out over the past day or so since I've taken it off. I would normally pull this drain plug to drain the rest of the transfer case out, but I'm pretty sure that pretty much it's all gone. Um, so we'll have to see how that uh, works for me. First uh, pieces to take off is the, uh, the transmission torque uh, mount bolt. This has got two rubber bumpers, if you want to call it. You can tell it's not exactly all that solid. So. Both of these are 9 16 there's a nut underneath the skid plate, the cross member, and there's um, this one right here. So I'm going to grab a 9 16 inch wrench here, then I'm going to use a breaker bar underneath. Alright. First nut off. I don't think this is going to come through. Now, I know that we've just... Um, there's another nut. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. This bolt is a very interesting bolt. It's got this, this loose nut up here, and then it's got a nut um, fused into the actual bolt shaft itself down here, and then underneath it has the, the threaded end of the bolt for another nut. So there's really only two nuts <laughs> that um, come off of this, but it's a bolt about that long. Um, luckily you can get replacements for these things because this thing, I'm assuming is not in very good shape. Now the other thing that we need to do is to, right underneath here, under the belly of the CJ7, are the two uh, transmission mount main bolts. These go right up into the bottom of the actual transmission case. Uh, these just need to come off, uh, hopefully with ease and they don't snap off because that would really suck. Alright, I'm starting with the breaker bar just to get them hopefully broken loose a little bit. Oh wow. Well, I guess the uh, levels and years of grease and oil that have leaked all over this plate have made it a lot easier. That's simple. Um, these are 11 16 inch nuts. These are what these bolts look like, the transmission mount bolts. Uh, they are, I don't even know what you'd call these. Well, uh, it can't be that the case because they're threaded in different places. Um, so it looks like the nut on this one uh, has loosened up over the years and then rusted. And then this one was pretty clean. But you can tell that there's two different thread counts. This looks like a, I don't know, a 28? This one looks like a 20, maybe, 16. Um, so I'm, these kind of look a little bit like the, uh, the bolts that uh, put your muffler into the exhaust manifold. They've got two different threads on ends of the bolts. All right, so now that those two are removed and the transmission mount bolt is loosened up, you can take this out if you want. I might actually do that real quick. I'm going to do that. The top nut is 9 16 the bottom, I guess you could say the interim or the middle uh, shafted nut 
um, is three quarters. Okay, let's go with the break apart. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. It's been removed. It's been removed. This is just a disgusting pile of oil and grease. But you can see that's one of the bumpers I was telling you about. Uh, this one goes on top of the plate, and the other one goes on the bottom. Nice big thick washer. Okay, now we need to take off the four support or the four connecting bolts that connect the transmission directly to the bell house. I want to take a pause here real quick and let you know that there's two different bell housings. Um, and I'm n I know I'm not going to get this right, but I'm going to try my best. The earlier bell housings um, that were off the back of the inline six uh, that connected to the uh, T150 um, fits the V8s and uh, I but not the four cylinders. So this bell housing with the T150 is uh, usable on the inline sixes or the 304 V8s. Um, when they went to the T4s and the T5s uh, in 81, the bell housing pa bolt pattern changed. Um, and they didn't have the 304s. I think they quit making the 304s in 81. And then the bell housing changed because it was just the inline six and the four cylinder. They didn't offer the 304s anymore. So anyways, um, if you are going to change your transmission, there is the T150 and then the T18. The T18 is the four speed for the earlier model uh, pre-81 CJ's fives and sevens and then the T-150s obviously. But there's bell housings that specifically fit both. So if you're gonna interchange them, engine, whatever that may be, make sure you've got the right bell housing for your actual transmission. Two bolts on each side, uh, all five eighths. All right, now that those are all broken loose, it should be easy to take out. All right, as I take out the last bolt here, um, Normally, I would suggest having some kind of support, whether you got somebody holding onto it or whatever, or you got to support it from below. But since this is resting on the plate, um, the mount plate that I have not taken out yet, and it's leaning against the bell housing, I think we should be okay. There's no way that this thing weighs as much as the T4 and the T5s do, because it's, God, this thing is so compact, it's amazing. But it only has three gears. Oh, see that shift? Okay, so just like when we took out the transfer case, I had a plan of attack, if you want to call it that. So, no idea how much this thing weighs. I mean, even if it's solid steel, it can't be that much. Transfer case has got to be twice as much. But anyways, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift, pull it bit straight back, and then clear this, and then place it right on that rag. And hopefully everything should fall right into place. Um, I'm assuming that there's going to be a gear shaft that's going to go right up and through into the bell housing. So hopefully this just comes out nice and easy. Of course, famous last words. There's three points of support for this whole system. Engine, um, clutch, and transmission. Engine mounts, two. Uh, transmission mount is the third one, so it kind of forms a triangle. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this thing out without actually propping up the back of the engine a little bit. Just because when I pull this thing out, the only thing that's going to be supporting it is the engine mounts. And then it's going to push down. So I'm going to put a jack underneath the bell housing and just kind of push it up a little bit to give it, take some of that weight off of there. Alright, changed it up a little bit. I actually put it underneath the, uh, the oil pan skid plate. Um, so that, because basically I want to take the clutch off and the bell housing next. So that wouldn't do me any good to prop up the bell housing and then have to redo it all over again. Anyways, just game plans, thoughts. How am I going to do this? All right, let's see if this works now. The bolt. All right, how can I get this thing? All right, there we go. Angle right. this thing out. Get this some bolt. All right. Now let's see if we can do this. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, this is probably 
80 pounds. Okay, got the transmission off the engine, out of the clutch, placed on its rag. Uh, good. The uh, input shaft looks really good. Happy to hear that. Cool, yay. Uh, throw out bearing, yeah, that thing's toast. Okay, there you go. Just removed your T150. I don't know if the T18 is similar in size or structure, but I know that that was one of the only two uh, that you had an option. You had the T150, which is the three speed, and the T18, which is the four speed, from 76 to 80 in the CJ7s. May have been earlier with the CJ5s. Don't know. One last point I wanted to point out is that uh, since I've taken this off and the other three bolts, I found two more bolts that mount this plate specifically into the, uh, the transmission. So there's like four bolts that hold this mounting plate and the skid plate and the transmission all together. Um, this last one is like right underneath this rubber bumper, so I don't, it's going to be kind of difficult to get out. But I just want to give you that call out that there's actually four bolts outside of the one specially torque bolt that holds the uh, mounting plate in place. Let's go get them!